Evening. A candlelight vigil was scheduled at Cedar Park Apartments in Lake City tonight. 11 year old Jarvin Jackson died yesterday afternoon at Shands at the University of Florida after sustaining a gunshot wound on Sunday. The person behind the gun, according to residents of Cedar Park, it was his four year old sister. TV Choice Chris Gilmore reports residents are still upset that a firearm was kept within such close reach of a child. That's right, Dave. Lake City Police haven't released much information, but are calling Jackson's case an investigation into an accidental shooting. And now we got a child gone because somebody's careless mistake. Tracy Fulton lives next door to where a shooting incident is being called an accident. Lake City Police responded to a call of shots being fired at Cedar Park Apartments on Mother's Day morning. When officers arrived, uh, they discovered that an 11 year old child uh, had somehow been accidentally shot um, and that it was the uh, four year old uh, child that was in the home that was in possession of the firearm. Here at Cedar Park Apartments, 11 year old Jarvis Jackson's Mother's Day was cut short and what neighbors are telling me was an accident that didn't need to happen. Fulton saw what happened. He saw Jackson lying on the floor before he was taken away by paramedics. I didn't want to see that. No, I, I don't know what made me walk upstairs. Or maybe I thought I might could help the child or whatever, but when I seen it, I, I couldn't go no further. I had to turn around. While police are still investigating how the child got a hold of the gun, Fulton says he knows. I'm going to tell you who I blame. I blame the person who put that gun there and left it there in harm's way. And now you see what happened. And whoever left it there may be breaking state law that requires firearms to be placed in lock boxes in the presence of minors. Violation of the statute is a second degree misdemeanor. If you're gonna keep it in the house, you put it where a child can't get to it. A statement released today by the Florida Department of Children and Families mirrors the same message and adds that ammunition should also be kept in a separate container under lock and key when within the possible reach of children. I hope this opened up eyes. I hope this opened up eyes and a lot of minds to, hey, keep them guns away from home. DCF representatives claim that eight children were in the home at the time of the incident. Jarvin's aunt's boyfriend is one of the individuals identified by neighbors who have been inside the apartment during the shooting. None of the children were removed from parental custody in this case. Chris Gilmore, TV20 News.